Well, it's another day. Today I'm going to show you how to create a special database in Postgre 14 or 15 using PG Admin as a graphic inter interface um, as a management tool. So upon searching for, I mean, opening the PG Admin, so you are required to punch in your password. That means I'll create the password which was earlier registered. So upon pressing OK, the servers will appear here. So this is the server group. You just can create it here by creating server group. For my case, because I'm showing you how to create a special database, I won't show you that. I'll go straight. I'll refresh this by just clicking server connected. Then I'll just create my database in Rhodes server group. So that means I'm just required to right click here, create database. Simple like that. So you just give it some time. Then I'll RMS, for instance. Then upon having RMS, then I'm clicking save. So this is just a simple database which I've just created in Postgres. So bingo. So when you expand it here, you have languages, foreign data adapters, schemas. But the schema here, this is not your reference. So that means in, when you expand tables, you can see anything. So we have to give it an extension of having those GIS capabilities. So that means you're required in this here, RMS database and create extension. You can always go this way or go to the database here, I mean here, like here and create extension. So I'm creating extension like that or you can just go straight here extensions I just click create extension inside the extension so I'll just search for GIS that means post GIS so upon selecting it then save that means it will appear in my extensions tree so upon clicking this post it has all the type the GIDX the function so that means when I expand my table inside this RMMS my tables here I'll get now the spatial reference anyway let me refresh because it doesn't let me refresh yes now upon refreshing let us see now in tables yeah here bingo you have now spatial reference you see we have this so this is a spatial reference system so this is it so i've shown you how to create a special database in a very simple way and actually linking it to have those gis capabilities so thank you make sure you watch for more next videos which I'll be producing on JS Special Database. Thank you a lot and make sure you subscribe.